Hey guys, it's Kim here with Fairly Fiber Fun. Thanks so much for joining me today on the final installment of our Zero Prep Spinning Series. So today I am scouring the two different yarns that I made in the experiment where one was rain rinsed and then spun and the other one was spun completely raw. The rain rinsed yarn is going in the blue bucket. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have two uh, white buckets the same size, so make do with what we got, right? The completely raw, dirty, spun yarn is in the white bucket, and that water is really, really hot. Uh, it's just tap water, nothing else to it. Um, my hot water gets about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, right away, you can see the water from the tube um, is very different. The rain rinsed obviously has a lot less dirt because that came out in the rainwater before I spun it. Um, normally I would use a spin dryer for this and that might um, make it a little bit less difficult than this whole scouring went. Um, but I figure most people don't have a spin dryer and so I wanted to show you how much effort it took without a spin dryer. And that just means there's more dirty water trapped within the yarn to uh, return to the water in the next soak. So this is the first uh, scour, ended up doing two, and I figured after I had moved the yarn around a lot in the water, that if I set the timer for 12 minutes, it would equal around 15, which is what I was going for. So I took the yarn out and squeezed it out by hand fairly well. There the waters look almost the same, still pretty dirty the yarns uh they still feel sticky um and all that so boil some more water or maybe i'm just using hot tap water i don't remember anyway um if i did not boil water that's why the lanolin didn't come out but anyways a second scour moving the yarn around a lot um you might think this would cause felting but since it's applied up yarn I really wasn't too worried about it and I wasn't overly rough like I didn't agitate agitate I just moved it around a lot again if there's an obvious difference in the color of the water um, and then in the first rinse there's still a lot more dirt coming out in the water than I was happy with so um, I kept rinsing until the water came out clear which ended up being three times so there was six soaks in total to get it completely clean um, and that's way more than I usually do when I scour but this was some really dirty wool so here we're in the second rinse I believe and the water is still pretty dirty um, like I said it this was stubborn and didn't want to come clean and this fiber probably would have been better pre-scoured before spinning. But, you know, live and learn. And this was an experiment, so can't complain too much, can you? But you see how clear that water is after the third rinse? Absolutely lovely. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. I really appreciate you uh, spending some time with me today. If you guys haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoy today's video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, enjoy everything you do. Bye, guys.